Okay, class. Today we continue with our uh, revision set one. Yeah, still in paper two, uh, section A. Uh, this time we'll do five questions. Uh, question six, five, seven, nine, and ten. Okay. Okay. Question six. Determine whether the following statement is true or. False. Okay, let's see the statement here. 9 is a prime number. So first, this uh, statement is false. Huh? This is false. Prime, 9 is not a prime number. Is not a prime number. Huh? It's an odd number. And 9 is an odd number. This is true. Okay, when these two statement is combined, it use uh, the word n so this whole statement is it true or false it is false yeah why because uh, to become a true statement when you use n both must be true but this one already false yeah so you cannot add or the whole statement is false if it use or that means this statement can be true yeah that's a revision for you okay for b uh, state the inverse yeah inverse of the following what is inverse uh, yeah just the opposite or not huh? not of the following implication so if x equals 7 then x equal 4 so the inverse is you just change the equation here to become not yeah not so, okay so this one you get one mark yeah one mark and this one also one mark Okay, for C, complete premise 2, yeah, the following argument, argument, and then determine whether the argument is valid and sound. Okay, first, we have to know what is premise 2. Let's see premise 1. All even number are divisible by 2. So, let's say this is A. This is A, this is B. Yeah. So all A is B. And then the conclusion is A is an even number. Even number is A. Yeah. A, we can make it as uh, C. Yeah. C. Okay. So conclusion C is A. So premise 2 should be. C is uh, C is B, right? C is B. So C is B. That means uh, it is divisible by it is divisible by two, yeah. Add is divisible by two, yeah divisible by 2 so this one you get one one mark for this this one yeah okay next is uh, we want to make sure whether it's valid and sound or not so this is uh, argument you know you have deductive inductive right but this one is a deductive argument and this form what form is this? Uh, you have a few types uh, in uh, de deductive argument. So this is uh, should be form one, uh, type one. That is uh, the formula, or it should be like this: if a is all a is b, c is a, then c is b. But for this one, yeah, um, 
it is not in the form of uh, this one. Yeah, it is out of the format. This one, okay. A is B, but C is B. Should be C is A. Yeah, like this one. So C is A, the conclusion. So this is not the the deductive argument. Yeah. So it is not. Of course, it is not valid. Yeah. It is not valid. Not valid and not sound. When it is not valid, of course, it is not sound. Yeah. So this one will give you one mark. If you want to know why, answer is argument is not valid because it does not comply. Yeah? Comply with the valid form of the dedu deductive argument. This is the valid form. Yeah? But it, this uh, argument is not the comply with the valid form of deductive argument okay 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 question seven uh, is a weighted directed graph that shows the distance eh, in kilometer between five main locations in a city okay a b c d e yeah, that is the five location so the question is uh, draw the sub two subgraphs yeah subgraphs so this one is very simple you just you have many answers yeah so i have uh, one subgraph one this one when you draw the subgraph make sure you write the weight yeah write the weight with the label here uh, all the label okay this one will give you one mark yeah next subgraph graph two is this one okay make sure it's all correct yeah this will give you another one mark okay okay next question is Okay, next is uh, draw a tree yeah, with a maximum total weight. And then you have to calculate the maximum total weight. So how to draw a tree from here? Yeah, you remember? You cannot draw one complete cycle. Yeah? But you have to touch all the city, the five city you have to touch. Yeah, with the weight. So... I've drawn it for you, you see, yeah? um, for maximum weight, the graph will be, the tree, the tree, yeah? not the graph, the tree will be here, uh, like this. It touch all the city, yeah, with the weight here. And it is, when you total up, it is maximum, okay, it's maximum. So you have to draw like this, yeah. When you draw this, you'll get um, one mark. And then, you have to total. Total uh, maximum weight. That is, um, you plus all the weights. Yeah, You get 28 kilometer. Okay? Okay, the length of a rectangular room, yeah? is three meter more than its width okay let's see the rectangular room the length yeah let's say this is the length this is the width is three meter more three meter more than its width so let's say your width is x and of course your length will be x plus three yeah, x plus 3. Okay, next, when a carpet e with area 6 meters square is placed on it, okay, let, let's say this is the carpet, 
It is found that the area of the uncovered region is twice the area of the carpet. So let's say the carpet, the area is 6 given to you, uh, 6 meters square. So the uncovered region here, uncovered region here, let's say A dash, yeah? that means not A, is twice the area of the carpet. So 2 times 6, you get 12 meter square. Yeah, 12 meter square. Okay. Now, calculate in meter the width of the room. So, the width of the room is X. So, how, how to get X? Okay. You have one unknown that is your X. To find it, you must have one equation. So, your job now is to find the equation. Yeah. The relationship. So, first, you know the total room area, right? It is... 6 plus 12, 18. So what equal to 18? What equal to 18? Of course, the width times the length or the length times the width. Yeah, x times x plus 3 equal 18. Yeah. Now, this one, when you write this, you will get one mark. Yeah. And then you know you have to expand it. Yeah, expand and then make it uh, here 0 because you want to make a quadratic equation. You get one, another one mark. You know how to factorize, yeah, factorize because you want to find what is x. You factor, then you get your x, yeah, another one mark. And then finally your answer is x is 3, 3 meter, yeah, 3 meter. Three meter. What happened if you answer like this? Okay, you lose one mark huh, for the answer because you cannot write x equal negative six. Answer cannot, uh, the length cannot be, uh, the width cannot be negative. Yeah, so be careful with this one. Okay, you'll get zero for this one, so you get only three marks out of four. Okay, thank. You. Next. Okay, question 10. The probability of a red pen in a box filled with hundreds of pen is 2 over 11. Yeah? So, two pens are randomly selected. So, you have to do this. Complete the tree diagram in the answer space to show all the possible outcome. So, all possible outcome. Yeah? So, a tree diagram. So, your possible outcome for the first pen is you maybe you can get red and second one not red yeah not red so the probability of getting a red pen is uh, 2 over 11 and of course not red pen the probability is you just 1 minus 2 over 11 yeah you'll get 9 over 11 so this is the first pen so second pen, you will have uh, um, two possibilities also. Maybe you can get red pen or not a red pen. Okay. So if you don't get a red pen, the second pen, maybe you can get red and also not red. Okay, now we write the probability. Eh? To get the red pen, it's still 2 over 11. Not a red pen, 9 over 11. And this one also the same, 2 over 11, 9 over 11. Okay, to take the two pens, huh? uh, it's either you return or you don't return, the, the probability is still the same. Yeah, it's still the same. Why? Because there are hundreds of pens. You, you 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 return or you don't let's say you don't return it's still you get the answer is 2 over 11 it's a very small number yeah and a small change so the the fraction is still 2 over 11 okay 
so this is the uh, three di diagram you get this two marks yeah two marks if you do like this with all the probabilities okay now calculate the probability that at least one red pen huh? at least one red pen okay the, the possible outcome there are actually four huh? but we see huh? this one is red red this is red not red this is not red red not red not red so at least uh, one red pen is it's okay two red pen right two red pen okay uh, one red pen at least one red pen okay but this one no huh? this one no so the possible outcome is these three only okay so how do you uh, find how do you calculate the probability okay the probability at least one red pen is okay for this one is this times 2 over 11 times 2 over 11 this is for red red okay next you have to plus yeah you have to plus um, this one this one and this one yeah this is red and not red and then the next one is you have to plus again um, for this one red and uh, not red and red yeah not red and red so you'll get the answer 40 over 2 1 2 1 yeah so this one will give you uh, one mark yeah one mark a uh, two marks two marks yeah i mean this one one and this one another one mark so total is two two plus two four marks lah. yeah okay that's all for our revision for today thank you very much